something that's always fascinated oh, <laughs> fascinated me about the study of culture is the role that language plays in culture. And uh, we English speakers don't really understand uh, some of the nuances that many of the other languages in the world have when we talk about addressing each other as you. Uh, if you've had Spanish, you know that there's the formal and then there's the familiar, usted and tu. In French, it's vous and tu. In German, sie and du. And uh, what I've uh, observed as an English speaker is that there is this real psychological barrier. It's a, a great divide between vous and tu, whether you address someone in the formal or the familiar. And uh, having spent a good number of years in the French-speaking world, I've uh, observed that some people are really stressed out about, oh, do I call this person vous or do I, call, do I say tu? Well, I've recently discovered a Swiss tradition that I find fascinating. Uh, when two people meet each other, they of course start with the, form the formal vous. Uh, but after a certain period of time, if the two people seem to be getting along well, then whoever is older takes the initiative to invite the other person to, uh, to have a drink, uh, just have a glass of wine or something. And this tradition is called schmulitz. Now that's obviously not a French word, more than likely a Swiss-German word. And this is how it works. The older person invites, in this case, a, a couple invites the other couple. Thus far, we've just been addressing each other in the formal. But this is a little tradition where we say, um, from now on, we're going to start addressing each other in the informal, so too. And that's called schmulitz. And so I, uh, we have invited uh, Francois and Christine here, and we're going to have schmulitz, and this is how it's done. We take our glasses. Schmulitz. And from now on, we have passed to another level in our relationship, and it's no longer vous, but it's tu from now on. Santé. Santé. Santé.